Windows 10, along with its predecessors, has included magnification software. Magnifier can be located in what they now call the Ease of Access Center. Ease of Access can be found under Settings or can easily be searched in the search bar in the taskbar. Once you turn on Magnifier, there are three different views you can choose from. The first view of what you currently see on your screen is called the lens view. The lens view allows you to magnify the areas underneath the cursor. So wherever your cursor is hovering, you can magnify the area below it. This is a little bit easy on the eyes when tracking. The magnifier in lens mode has options to either make the box smaller in size with width or with height, depending on what your needs are. It also allows you to do something in which the colors on the screen are inverted. This is a little bit, makes it a little bit easier for someone with low vision to see the screen and the text by changing the contrast in the colors. The magnification, or zooming in and out, on Windows goes up to 1200%. Currently it's on 200. This could be changed depending on your needs. The other views are full screen and docked. Both full screen and docked views have similar settings and we'll go into that next. Full screen mode magnifies the whole screen. Like lens, depending on where your cursor goes, it's magnified, but what happens is you end up losing the rest of your desktop area. So in some ways it's a little bit hard to use full screen because you kind of miss out on a lot of other information on the screen. Another option is Docked. Now Docked places a window bar on the top of the screen, which can also be changed in size, like lens, depending on your needs. What this does is puts a window up top that's magnified and gives you a little clearer picture of the, the desktop as a whole. And where you are moving the cursor, it's magnified in the screen above. Like Lens, there are options, like I said before, and both docked and full screen have similar options. The magnifier options are basically to zoom in and out. It does also include the color inversion, like Lens. And then you could change things as far as tracking goes. You can track the mouse pointer. You could follow keyboard focus, and you could also have magnifier follow the text insertion point. These are options, both keyboard focus and magnifier text insertion, are options that you would want to use when you're word processing.